Hi, my name is Paul Tranny, and the great thing I'd like to show you today is how to take advantage of specific mobile capabilities, such as tapping into the accelerometer. So that means when I tilt the device, what happens on the screen, and how does my content maybe change or react to me tilting that? I'm going to do this all in Flash. So here I am in Flash, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and load in some code snippets. So in the Code Snippets panel, I'm going to select Import Code Snippets XML. And I'm just going to load in this mobile XML code snippets file. Select Open. It appears down here at the bottom. And the one I want to use is the accelerometer. So what I want to do is I want this ball to move around on this wood floor depending on how you tilt the device. So with that ball selected, I'm just going to go ahead and double click on Accelerometer. And that adds all of the code to the first frame on this Actions layer. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and review this real fast, because up at the top, we're going to go ahead and import uh, the Accelerometer classes, that whole package to make everything work. Next up, we create a new Accelerometer instance called Excel. And that's really what we're going to use for the entirety of this. Uh, the next step right here is we're setting the requested update interval. So this is in milliseconds is when this happens. So at 50, every 50th millisecond, it's going to go ahead and uh, move that ball in this case. But I can have it maybe happen every second. Uh, but again, for smooth motion, I'm going to keep that number lower. All right, next up, I'm just doing a quick check to see if the accelerometer is supported. If it's supported, then go ahead and update uh, basically the stage and the movement of the ball. But this happens every 50 milliseconds. It's going to go ahead and fire off this update function, okay, which is right here. It's going to fire off this update function. Otherwise, what I can do is in this else statement, I can go ahead and say, hey, you know what? The accelerometer isn't supported, you know, and go ahead and show that message to uh, the user. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, update function right down here, because this is where we're going to use uh, the accelerometer. And I have two things going on in here uh, there is uh, movement uh, to the left and right, which is acceleration x. That's what that is. The acceleration x is when I tilt that device you know, to the left and to the right. Next up, we have the uh, sort of top, bottom. Okay, so if I tilt this device sort of uh, forward and back, kind of tilt it like that, uh, then it's going to go ahead and update the ball that direction, uh, which is what I'm going to talk about next. Uh, but no, notice that there's also going to be some uh, additional functionality I can do. But I can not only take advantage of the x and y, but I can also take advantage of the acceleration z. Okay, I'm not using that in that, this project, but if I was to move this sort of forward and back, well, then I can take advantage of that property as well. So that's available. But let's see what we're doing. We're taking that acceleration x property, and we're applying it to the ball's x property. So it's going to move it to the left and to the right is what this does. Uh, now, what acceleration x returns is it just returns a number between 0 and 1. It's a really small number. So what I've done here is I've multiplied it by 50. And if I wanted it to move even faster, I can bump that up to 500, for instance. But again, since it only returns a number between, between 0 and 1, you probably want to go ahead and uh, you know, multiply that. In this case, that's what I want to do. OK, and uh, to sum it all up, right down here, what I have going on are some conditional statements. Basically says, hey, if the ball is uh, you know, off to the right-hand side of the stage, then it's going to appear on the left-hand side. OK, so it's going to loop. It's going to go off the right side, and it's going to appear back on the left side. Uh, same thing for the top and bottom. If I just move this out of the way, uh, if it rolls off the bottom, then it's going to appear back up at the top. Okay? Uh, but the important thing here is that I'm using these two properties to control that ball. All right, now we get to the exciting part, because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a test movie, and I'm going to test this in Device Central. Okay? Device Central gives me the ability to simulate, say, for instance, a device experience. And what I have here is this is just a Motorola Droid 2. It's just the profile I have loaded. Uh, this accelerometer panel is what I'm going to manipulate. And as I tilt this virtual device, you can see that 
ball move around as I tilt it. So again, pretty slick. If I go off one side, we can see it appear on the other side. In fact, let me just tilt it uh, kind of at a crazy angle and you can see it move. So again, this is, this is pretty darn cool, uh, being able to use Device Central as well as the accelerometer to manipulate objects. But really what I want to do next is go ahead and test it out uh, on a device. So back in Flash, I'm just going to go to my Publish Settings. And I'm going to go to Flash tab. And I'm going to select Air for Android is what I'm going to select. This is, um, this is a, an extension that I got off labs.adobe.com. I'm going to go to Settings. And I'm just going to generate this APK file. So this is my app file. And I'm just going to call it Accelerometer. I'll just go ahead and drop in Accelerometer. I'm giving it an app ID. And it's really fill in the blank from here. OK, so there's really nothing special I need to do in the Publish settings. Uh, just know that in Deployment, I just have Install Application as well as Launch Application. All right, so I published it out. Let's go ahead and check this out on the device. Here it is. Here's that project. And again, as I tilt the device, you can see that ball move around the screen. So it works out great. Again, the more I tilt, the more the ball moves. And it works out pretty well. So that's one example. In fact, it's more like a game example. But you could use this also uh, to simulate a shake. A tap into the accelerometer to clear, say, some text fields is another option for using the accelerometer. There's really a lot you can do with it. So I encourage you to check out uh, the Adobe Developer Connection for more information. Thanks for watching.